Uh, hey, Chicho, my daughter, hi, Vanessa, how are you doing? My daughter got her midterm report back last week and she dropped from an A to a B. Okay, she's in second grade. Oh, second grade, hey, they're grading A, B for second grade. Uh, the note from her teacher said, uh, compounded addition problems. Compound addition problems. I don't know what compound addition means. Any advice on how to help her grasp it a little bit better? Yeah, for sure, uh, Vanessa. Da, da, da. Uh, she's really smart, but just has a short attention span when it comes to math. Uh, first order of business, if someone has a short attention span when it comes to math, feed them the information faster. My, From my experience, if someone's losing attention and they got a short attention span for math i feed it feed the information to them faster don't worry too much about the minor nuances right kick them up to a level where they start showing interest right and once you got those problems going on okay you obviously need the pre-stuff to be able to do this stuff right so get them going on these more complicated problems stuff that they might be interested in and when they hit an obstacle that they don't know how to do you kick them back to that specific nuance that they had to learn teach them that and right away they get to practice it because it's a hurdle that just they just overcame right and they do it and they actually see how that uh, connects back to everything else before that and they also get to use it to connect onto more complicated concepts so that's one way of doing it right so keep an eye out for that that's really important don't hold uh, students that are losing attention span in, in math or anything else for that matter in one spot just because they're having a hard, hard time grasping that one concept or they're getting bored of that one concept even if they can't do it properly yet all the time right as long as they know how to do it two out of four times just kick them up right if they're stuck on that preferably you need to get them doing a little bit better than two out of four fifty percent of the time getting it correct but if they continue to use it they'll improve on it right the other one is this uh, take a look at the these videos we put out uh, let me go to our playlist uh, if you go to the YouTube channel I put out three videos for early uh early childhood education and uh, let me find it for you here we go uh there's four videos i put out okay so this one is how to teach counting and then the next one is how to teach adding the next one is how to teach multiplication and the one out of that is uh, is the whole thing oh yeah let me give you the whole thing so it's three videos and it's three videos broken into pieces from this one longer video so this is the video you want to you want to see. Uh, it'll give you my train of thought on how to deal with kids. I usually work with grade, you know, six and up. Five, six, five is lowest I go. But if depending on where you are in the world, they start teaching mathematics like really early on, like grade one or two. You're already into adding, multiplying, and dividing, right? So if that's the case, these should help you out. Hope, hope that's okay. That's sort of my long-winded uh, to get you going on it. If you have any more questions, Vanessa, uh, just drop me a line and uh, or pop into the stream either today if you get a chance to watch. I don't think you get a chance to watch them, but in the next math stream and let me know where your daughter might be having problems and we'll try to deal with it right away, right?